survival, self-defense, courage, respect. We are the modern warriors. We are the combat hat kiddo. Okay, this is escaping the side mount, technique number one. Okay, your opponent has managed to get you, has managed to get you in a, in a side mount position. Again, having their elbows at both sides allows them to strike with their arms and also strike with their knees if they're experienced in that, in ground fighting. So, as the person now is on their side here, Okay, they land on their side. What you want to do is control the shoulder so that he can't elbow strike you. So you want to control that shoulder here. At the same time, I'm going to turn my body so that I can breathe also so that he doesn't collapse on top of me. I'm going to turn my body sideways. I'm going to push this leg out. Okay, if you need to, okay, based on the size of the person, if I need to clear a hole from my knee, what I'll do is I'll pinch and then I'll slide that through. What you're gonna do now is shuffle your hips all the way out. What he's gonna do as the opponent, he's gonna be trying to get up. As he's trying to get up, that's gonna allow for this leg to break free. I'm gonna extend that leg, that arm out, turning into it in my body and here. And now you have your joint lock break. You can follow up with a strike if you feel threatened or you can get up depending on the situation. Okay, remember, you have still legal and moral issues to deal with. So, from here, one, okay? As I control the person, I hold on to him, I push out, I shuffle, and I get that knee through. Once this knee is through, I'm gonna shift my hips in that same direction, this way, okay? Hook that arm, hold on to him. As he comes up, I scoop this arm out, and lock onto the arm, extending, going into a joint lock, follow up, or simply disengage, okay? As you're training with your partner, one of the things that you need to be aware of is, like I explained before, nobody's just gonna lie there in the street and let you do all this to them. So as this is happening, what's, what's, the, what's going on in their mind is, as you're getting out, they're gonna to wanna to get up as well, okay? That's what's gonna allow that freedom for that bottom leg to shoot through there, okay? So what I mean by that is, right here, when you see, when one grabs me, see, they wanna stay up. They don't wanna do this. They don't wanna do that. They wanna get up. They wanna use those elbow strikes. They wanna use those knee strikes. So I'm gonna stop this. Now he's gonna bring his butt up higher. That's gonna allow me to push through, get this knee between there. Okay, now he can't use his legs. However, I need to get my, plan my escape route. So now as I shift, okay, he's gonna start to get on his arm. Here, as he gets on his arm, I take it out, okay? Roll, think about doing a gator roll, okay? Like a gator, roll on his arm. Here, sit out completely, okay? Put yourself perpendicular to them. You don't wanna put yourself like this. Okay, it's not, not ergonomically comfortable. You can't really do anything from here. So as I curl out, I wanna go parallel, perpendicular to him, sorry. Perpendicular, go into your joint lock. So remember, you have your finger lock, you have an elbow strike if you need to, and you can also control the joint, put him face down, okay, and then control if you need to. Okay, one more time from this side. You can get a different look. Here, I come up, I push, get that knee through, shift over, pull that arm out, roll, 
on his arm, control the fingers, control the joint, and get out. Okay, this is defense against the side mount number three, okay? This is not a very common street fighting move. However, this is something that is very popular, especially in the United States and around the world that people practice Olympic or Greco-Roman style uh, wrestling to pin people down. Not very effective, uh, to tell you the truth, in a street fight. However, if you encounter this position, you need to be able to get out of it. So again, just as uh, Grandmaster Pellegrini always says in our stand-up program, you want to have enough tools in your toolbox so that you can get any job accomplished at any given time, okay? So we're going to practice from this technique, okay? The person's got you underneath, they're clasping, you're going to come up, you're going to use, again, the ulnar bones into the side of the neck, pushing out and away, lock in, try to get a nice tight triangle in here. Okay, as you're cranking, you're going to push up, okay, getting the person off of you. Now you can apply pressure straight down as I bring this one up, okay. I released his neck because I didn't want to hurt him, okay. Releasing, and then you have the arm bar, and you can slide out now and go into your escape, okay. You have to be very careful in training, okay. Be very careful with your partner because you can hurt their neck, okay. It's very, very nasty neck crank, okay. So, we come here, one, he comes in, I push out, lock on, try to get as tight as I can, see he's already almost in the triangle choke there, I lock on, I push out, okay, from here, I can continue to roll if I want to, not a problem, you can go right back into what we did a minute ago with the, with the uh, cow tipping, I can go this route, here, okay, not a problem, okay, again, remember, come back here, it'll give you the versatility, and the freedom to move. Not everybody moves the same way or will move into, and even the same person doing the same technique maybe reacts differently. So you need to be aware of that and be able to adjust to that situation, okay? We'll do it uh, last time from this side. Here, person grabs you, you can push out. If the strikes, if you cannot get your arms in here to strike, maybe he's tucked in, you can also use the pressure point, okay? using the pressure points in the arm, okay, in the neck, push that out, okay, get in, nice, nice and tight triangle, of course, the groin is always exposed, okay, so you can always do a nice groin pull here to loosen things up, there's the triangle in the neck, you heard him tap, I'm going to apply pressure down and up while I get him off of me here, okay, and then you can give him verbal commands to get up and get up. Okay, and you have them snap the arm. Okay, so as you can see, we've covered about three different finishers, okay, all based on the same person. Okay, it's just different ways that you can end up. All right, we'll try one more angle. Here, okay, using the pressure points this time, come here, up, down, okay, lock it in, push out, loop out. There's another one, okay right into the top, okay? Same basic technique though, remember, the technique remains the same. How you decide to end it is gonna be based on your training partner, okay? we will cover the following topics. Kicking from the ground and drills. Defense against tackles or takedowns. Escaping the mount position. Escaping the guard position. 
reversing the guard position, escaping the side mount, escaping when the opponent's got your back, escaping knee on belly, attacks from the guard position, escaping headlocks and neck cranks, escaping guillotine chokes, passing a stomp kick, escaping the north-south position, escaping triangle chokes, and ground survival against edge weapons. I hope you enjoy this program. Remember to practice with safety in mind. Thank you for your ongoing interest in the ground survival program.